Hello everybody, I'm glad you chose to spend some time with the Giggling Conservative today. Um, this is Envelope Contents Revealed Part 2. Um, so, there's going to be a third part. I'm going to have to do this in two parts and I'm only going to make it up to the, uh, you know, the bushes. And then, next episode, I'll go further. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, something extremely significant occurred at the Bush funeral. Special env envelopes uh, point to swift and sure justice on the way. Swift and sure justice on the way. Now, this is a, a comment by intelligence analyst and a former U.S. military officer. By any standard, what just went down during the Bush funeral is so huge it's incomprehensible. First, the National Cathedral was on lockdown with so many VIPs in attendance of the biggest funeral since Ronald Reagan. That means that no one got in or out unless the greenlit, unless greenlit by the Secret Service. How, then, was the entire venue cased out so well in advance that videographers were in the perfect position to capture extraordinary events that took place there. This alone tells you that a massive setup was and still is in the works. Not sure uh, it gets any more serious than this. Uh, what is soon to follow, the envelope affair, will surely be the most incendiary series of events in the third millennium. Now, to go on further, at the last count, at least five BIPs uh, families received the special note at the Washington, D.C. Memorial Service for George H.W. Bush. Uh, that would be Bush family, George, W., Laura, and Jeb, uh, the Clintons, Hillary and Bill, the Obamas, Michelle and Barack, the Bidens, Joe and Jill, and the Pences, Mike and Karen. Now question number one, why did the sender make sure the wives also received the ominous messages? However, responsible for this psychop, it's clear that every part of this drama was fastidiously choreographed for maximum effect. I mean, the cameras, cameras were just in the right place at the right time to see it all. Question number two, why specifically did these five powerful families receive the secret message? Bush, Clinton, Obama, Biden, and Pence. Such a plot to capture the attention of both husband and wife was quite well planned. Handing the note to the Bush family at the exact time that the casket was passing by also occurred with highly calculated significance. I mean, this stuff is no accident. I mean, all you got to do is watch the videos. Uh, there were many deep state dignitaries and VIP globalists at the same venue during the funeral service. There's no indication, however, that anyone else present got the special note, although this is an extraordinary context. Excuse me, I got real thirsty. It's critical to understand the key aspects of the context in which this explosive drama played out. Five U.S. presidents and vice presidents received special envelope during the most MSN hyped and misrepresentative memorial service in our lifetime. How does that happen except with extremely purposeful design? Here's a key point. President George H.W. Bush was neither gentle nor kind to his nation as the MSM 
eulogized him. Not only was he a pivotal rogue CIA operative in Dallas during the assassination of John F. Kennedy, he was also a prime mover behind the Oklahoma City bombing because of the savings and loan scandal fallout which the Clintons were involved in. The Bush Crime Syndicate was also the key architect and American co-conspirator that executed the state-sponsored false flag terrorist attacks on September the 11th, 2001 as a well-orchestrated CIA-coordinated cover-up. In spite of the ongoing funeral service of the century, a videographer was present at all the perfect locations to capture the videos of the very moment when the notes were being handled and opened. Next, the various videos were then disseminated to various YouTube channels to make sure they were expeditiously uploaded and easily viewed on the internet by the public. First of all, there's no other event in U.S. history that even remotely comes close to this stunning series of envelope incidents right smack in the middle of a ex-presidential funeral. The Bidens received their envelope at the funeral and were forewarned by Hillary, who has already seen it. Just how big? Everything points to the High likelihood that President Trump put these political dynasties and crime families on notice during the Bush state funeral. Whatever they saw, or when they heard about the contents of the envelope, each individual was floored in ways that were both obvious and veiled. The Bush family reacted in horror, especially Jeb Bush, Laura was quite disgusted as well, although George W. appeared to know it was coming. That's part one. Uh, I ran over a little bit more than I intended to, and um, that's part two. Part three will be the next episode, and I'll finish up and I'll start with uh, Hillary Clinton's reaction to the envelope. Um, there's going to be no lighter side today. Uh, I'll get back to the lighter side after we get through exploring the envelopes. So y'all have a good day. Mm -hmm.